five minutes. Uh, the brother Darius from the Defenders of the Gospel Camp. And before I um, jump in this lesson, though, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to the I can't push in this truth of righteousness and sincerity. Alright, man. And hey, this lesson is going to be about, um, hey, this devil, man. And this white man, this so called, this so called white man. You know, who are really, uh, the biblical Edomites, man. Hey, the, uh, number one enemy of the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, called the Israelites. You know, that the Bible speaks of, the real Jews, man. Know, the real rulers of this planet. Hey, and I'm gonna get off into uh, this lesson about hey, how our people love this damn devil, though, man. Hey, but, the, but our, our people love this devil, hey, but this devil has cast away all pity from us. You know, hey, you see it every day, man, with the police shootings, hey, through the um, the justice system. Hey, you see this devil, hey, he uh, pushes crack through our communities. Hey, this, this devil, hey, there, there was no love in slavery. Hey, those same spirits, hey, who put our people through our ancestors in slavery, those same spirits are back here today. Hey, hey, hey and you can tell, man, they have no pity with our people, man. Hey, now, nowadays, what you see, um, left and right now, you're starting to see, um, Jake, well, it's been here, but you're seeing Jake being discriminated all through these stores, man. You know, Starbucks and, um, all these stores, man. By these other heathen nations too, man. You know? Hey, that's why they're all going into slavery too. You no, know? but you see, no, there's no pity, man. Hey, th these devils have no sympathy, no empathy for you. Hey, but our people love to try to show the white man, the so-called white man, some, some love, man, some sympathy. Hey, when this devil, he 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 could never do the same for you. Hey, and if he if he uh did show some type of fake love, hey, it's all for um for a false glory, man. You know? Hey, there's no real empathy with him. He's a goddamn devil, man. The deceiver, man. Yeah, he's, he's doing that to deceive your ass, man. Our people want to stay stuck up this white man ass, man. Hey, and the scriptures uh, specifically talk about how this devil doesn't give a fuck about us, man. Hey, this, this devil has a perpetual hatred hey, for the children of Israel, man. Let me get it out of the scripture, though. This is uh, Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity. And his anger did tell perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Hey, and that's what this devil do, man. Hey, he cast off all pity, man. He has a perpetual hatred for you, man. Hey, so you loving the white man is not gonna get him off your ass. You know, you fucking house nigga, man. You a fucking cool, man. Hey, it's one thing. Hey, that I, I think I might even hate, hate um, coons of our nation more than I hate the so-called white man. Which, hey, that's a lie. <laughs> Say, this goddamn devil's the beginning of everything. Hey, but you coons are right up there, man. Two thirds of our people, man. Hey, you coon ass, you coon ass jakes, man. Hey, y'all right side to side with this goddamn devil, man. Hey, you'll sell your soul to save this goddamn faggot, man. Hey, well he's going into slavery. There's nothing you can do about that, man. His ass gotta go. Bro. Hey, and he has showed us no mercy. So why the fuck, why the fuck should we show him mercy, man? Hey, you think he showed mercy to those slaves on them cornfields? You know, hey, all day no, all day work, no rest. You think it was any type of mercy? Hey, when they give our kids a hundred years, hey, for something they'll give their kids a pat on the back for? Hey, do you think that's mercy? Hey, but this is the so-called, this is the so-called um, the race that you want to save, man. You know, hey, he, and he's doing all this wickedness upon the world, man. Hey, but you want to, you actually want to. Bring him into the kingdom of heaven with us. <laughs> hey, a holy, uh, what's going to be a holy place, man. You know, you actually want to bring this devil in the, in the midst of that. You know? All right, our people are brainwashed, man. Get this in James. Hey, this is James chapter 2, verse 13. Hey, for he shall have 
judgment without mercy, that have shown no mercy, and mercy rejoice against judgment. Hey, this white man have shown no mercy, man. Hey, so, hey, when the Lord come back, man, hey, he's gonna have judgment without mercy, man. You know? Hey, we gonna whoop his ass, man. Hey, double. Hey, the Lord said, hey, we gonna pay him back double, man, by the Lord's vengeance. Hey, that's what the so-called white man future is. Hey, so, and, and for you niggas who can't get that uh, wrapped around your damn head, hey, enjoy that lake of fire. Hey, your ass is gonna burn up, man. You wanna say the white man, well, you gonna burn. Hey, or whatever, um, whatever death the Lord got planned for you, man. Hey, cause you're not gonna make it to the kingdom with that mind state. You know? I'm loving your oppressor, man. Hey, in, in the kingdom, hey, it's not fit for you, man. Hey, here, here this devil is, hey, study killing us every goddamn day. Hey, and you wanna find a way to uh, slide this faggot off in the kingdom with us, man. Hey, well, fuck out of here, man. Hey, and uh, Shalaki is one of the language, man, but. Hey, I'm, Hey, this gotta come out. This devil, hey, man, this devil working my damn nerves, man. It's vexing on the spirit to see our people so cooned out, man. Here you have, um,. Kanye West, well, he, he's bugged out anyway, but you had this man, hey, wearing the uh, Make America Great Again hat, man. Hey, that let you know, hey, how bugged are our people? How, how quick they'll sell out. Hey, you got Kevin Hart um, telling uh, our people to stop uh, protesting uh, for Starbucks, which protesting ain't gonna do shit anyway, but hey, but he doesn't know uh, about the Israelites, and if he does, he's not putting his first foot forward. But here, you are you to tell your people to, hey, to stand down, hey, just, just enjoy the oppression. <laughs> hey, just take it. Hey, cause, cause he's, cause this goddamn elites are giving him some crumbs. Hey, cause his, his, uh, his lot off, uh, on this side is a little easier than the average Israelite. No? Hey, coon ass niggas, man. Hey, the Lord is gonna deal with y'all ass, man. And you're gonna be shamefaced in the kingdom, man. And you're gonna look back on this side and you're gonna think, damn, I was a coon ass nigga. What the fuck was I thinking? And you're gonna look at the uh the men of the Lord, hey, and wish that you would have strived like that. You're gonna wish that you would have got off your ass. Hey, for you uh brothers who do know too, hey, do know the truth, know you're an Israelite, you're gonna wish that you got off your ass and actually did something, man. Kendrick Lamar. Hey, you gonna. <laughs> Hey, cause just knowing you're Israelite is not gonna fucking cut it. But I ain't gonna get off topic too much, man. Let me get this in the uh, book of Obadiah, chapter one, verse 10. Hey, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Hey, so the so-called white man has no place in the kingdom, man. Hey, for his violence against the, the Israelites, man. He has no place of repentance, you know? Hey, he will be cut off forever, man. Hey, he's the only nation, hey, who, who, who receives no mercy. Hey, because he's the goddamn devil. Hey, the devil doesn't deserve any mercy. Hey, the devil is destroying the whole world, man. And you want to love the so-called devil, man. Hey, this goddamn devil, hey, if it was up to him, every Israelite would be dead. But you want to save this goddamn abomination. You know what the hell is wrong with our people, man? Hey, slavery has really made them sick in the mind. It's really the Lord, you know? Really the Lord not dealing with you. Hey, it's sad to see our people like that, man. You know? Hey, but this devil, he's gonna he's gonna have to um he's gonna have to fill that cup, man. You know? He's gonna have to get that same treatment. Hey, double. That's what he gave our people, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, the Lord is about balance. Hey, the Lord is about just. Hey, this devil's gonna um this devil's gonna feel the wrath, man. Yeah. You got something coming, you goddamn, you so-called white people, man. Hey, you gonna have a foot fall up your ass. This is um, the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, 
Hey, old daughter of Edom, man, speaking on Babylon, man. Hey, hey, America, man. You know, rejoice and be glad. Hey, speaking on you Edomites, particularly, uh, particularly, it's like it, specifically. Hey, speaking on you, um, speaking on you goddamn heathens, man. You fucking Edomites, man. You biblical Edomites, the so-called white race. Yo, know, rejoice and be glad, old daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. Hey, and what you gonna be drunken with, man? Hey, you gonna be drunken with the same thing the Israelites was drunken with. Captivity. You know, a good cup of slavery. A good cup of lynchings. A good cup of hangings. You know, a good cup of work. That's what you finna, that's what you got coming. That's what the so-called white man has coming. You know? Hey, for the mock, for, uh, for all the this abominations this goddamn devil's done, man. Here it is, hey. My uh, stepbrother, brother-in-law, he in the house watching a goddamn movie. Hey, and it's, it's mocking the Lord. Hey, these goddamn heathens mock the Lord, man. You know? Goddamn movie uh, about around the time of uh, Cain and Abel. Hey, it's nothing but so-called white people in there, which is biblically incorrect, you know? And th these heathens know that too. Hey, they know there, there was no so-called white people around, uh, dwelling around that time. And these, these goddamn crackers know that, man. But still, they um they put it in all the movies, hey, to manipulate the, uh, the so-called conscience of a black man, so-called black man, a so-called Israelite, man. You know, they try to manipulate, man. Hey, that's white. That's white supremacy, man. Hey, and through the whole movie, they mocking the Lord. They, they acting like this shit is a game, man. Hey, and that's why they're going to be fucked over, man. And I can't wait to put my foot far up an Edomite ass, man. So let me finish this scripture, man. I'm going to start it over. Hey, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall be passing unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, thou shalt be made, and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Hey, speaking on the Israelites, man. Hey, our captivity is almost up, man. Hey, the Lord is about to make his return. You know, and, and put us in our rightful rulership. And he will, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will destroy thy... He will discover thy sins. Hey, and that's already happening, man. Hey, the sins of these Edomites are being discovered, man. Hey, by um, hey, by the brothers, man. Hey, the wisdom of the Lord. You know? Hey, the, the Lord is gonna come back, man, and he's gonna destroy these goddamn heathens, man. Hey, and he's gonna um, he's gonna use the chariots. Hey, he's gonna use the chariots to do it. Hey, natural disasters. Hey, nuclear war. Hey, and and he's gonna use um. He's gonna use his men. Hey, you know, the prophets, the 144,000, man. Hey, they're gonna get that spiritual power and they gonna get a piece of that ass too. You know? You goddamn heathens got it coming, man. I don't know? So rejoice and be glad, old daughter of Edom. Cause you got a you got a heavy, a heavy debt to pay for. You know? This is uh, the book of the Ecclesiastics, Shlakia. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger. Hey, so, hey, when you, um, for you so-called Christians, man, hey, the Lord has anger. The Lord hates, you know? Hey, and he said his people are gonna do unto Edom, hey, with, um, according to his anger, man. You know? Cause we're not even mad enough, man. Hey, the Lord is gonna put that that righteous anger on us, man. Hey, and hey, we're gonna really dig off in this uh this devil's ass, man. You know? Bring this back. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. 
by the hand of my people Israel and they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance saith the Lord your help you know so eat them hey the so called white man and you elites hey you get ready man cause you don't got shit but slavery coming man hey you not running away from this judgment hey we gonna ship your ass up we gonna gather you up and we gonna sell your daughters and your sons you know Hey, to, and, and not just not just around the world, man. Hey, we're gonna sell your ass on different planets, man. Hey, cause those chariots, hey, I know you fear them. Hey, but that's our salvation. Hey, but with that, you know, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.